In my last video I was speaking about uh, Zlatan Vanev, that was the favorite duelifter of Ivana Bajiev. And now we will review another athlete that was coached by Ivana Bajiev in the United States. It's uh, from Albania, Hisem Pulaku. He was uh, preparing here for Olympics, but he was not having the chance to go at competition because he was suspended right before there. This was in 2012, so it's from 10 years ago and uh, he was attempted here in the training 211 clean and jerk in that time was a world record let's see the lift first time 211 heavy clean nice here a jerk hold hold 211 it's a big weight especially for a 77 kilograms lifter so you need a bit of uh, balls to say like that to be able to lift uh, this weight so we'll go to review his lift frame by frame he has here a dynamic start pretty high start position he's uh, keeping hips higher i like this one arms are good if we notice he's uh, watching with uh, head and eyes up when you do that you can easily activate better your posterior muscles look also what it's happened with his knees here the femur is doing that internal rotation here it's definitely because the barbell is heavier and uh, he was exaggerating here but this what is happened with uh, his knees it's a strategy of our body to produce more force so probably Polaku has a very good hip internal rotation that's why it's able to go with the knees like that, that close. So he's lifting his bum, he's trying here to do everything is possible to take that barbell from the ground. was uh, very, very heavy, I assume that. When barbell is passing the knees, we see that it's going with knees in the sides. This is normal here because here, when you want to produce speed, our body is doing that external rotation. So the femur need to go outside and the knees also to go outside in order to do that. He's remaining very nice on full foot here. It's uh, very smart to do that. Contact, it's at mid tight. Here is remaining very good with arms. If he used arms early here, I'll bet he was not succeeded to do this uh, clean. Extending the lot in the back. We don't reach uh, full extension. His knees remain a bit bent and this is uh, very good, especially here at this weight because your focus is to change your direction and to be faster under barbell to reach earlier than barbell in the bottom. If you spend your time to fully extend, you will lose their power and you will remain here in this position where you will not can do anything and uh, it will be quite difficult to change your direction. Arm work is good here, it's going well. He's pretty tall, he's in, here in the catch is at limit, almost uh, out of balance, but I think he has also some uh, long legs and it's at limit. Let's say it's okay here, the balance in the catch. Good transition here, barbell is close to him. It's uh, finishing well, the turnover of elbows, keeping the barbell more on fingertips. And now we see that one, same again, the knees are coming in a lot. This is uh, the best strategy for him to produce more force and to be able to go up here from the hole. Probably, like I said before, his hip internal rotation is very good, 45 degrees, and that's why he's able to almost close uh, with knees together. If you don't have a good uh, hip internal rotation, you can't reach to have the knees that close. Plus, he was not uh, working too much to strengthen more his uh, legs. And we see this one because the, when he's going up from the clean, it's very heavy from him. So probably he was uh, struggling at squats as well. Probably he was having some uh, knee injuries as well. And uh, this all combined together, it's uh, this uh, result in the clean when the knees are coming in a lot. The same when it's passing parallel, the knees are going in the side. The rear rack here is uh, very good. I like his uh, front rack position, he's staying nice. He's keeping the barbell more on fingertips. Elbows are very good. His uh, head position and chin is good as well has a very short dip it's uh, normal when you don't have uh, very solid legs you don't want to go too much down because it will be even harder to go up so it's uh, doing like a bounce here it's going very short and it's trying uh, to be very aggressive to uh, get help of the balance of the barbell when it's going up here on the drive the extending nice is remaining here very good with his uh, left leg on the platform and is moving first time the right foot is uh, sliding very nice his back foot here is touching first front foot it's racing enough here in the air smashing there the front foot 
Shin is vertical in the very good position. Lockout good, head position good here. The lift is uh, good overall. He has uh, those uh, issues there with uh, his knees and uh, with his leg. Here if uh, he was focusing more on the squats and uh, to increase his uh, quads and uh, his uh, overall leg strength for sure that uh, problem with knees is uh, getting better and overall he can perform better in the clean and he will uh, save more energy to the jerk so probably the weights will go even up like i said at the beginning for 211 it's uh, quite impressive not many athletes are succeeded to do this lift at around uh, 80 kilograms body weight it's quite difficult to pass 190 at this uh, body weight and uh, only a few are able to reach at uh, 200 plus so his same plug one was uh, one of them so let's rate him with uh, some star like uh, other lifter that we was reviewing at uh, analyze in this uh, time with this uh, 211 kilograms at uh, 77 lifter his same plug technique it's four and a half star his power it's four star and his strength here for star. This was my video for today with his Plaku from Albania doing a 211 clean and jerk. If you like this video, don't forget to like and share it. Also consider to subscribe to increase here the audience and to reach out more athletes. Son of a gun.